Alright, so what I'm going to try to do today is uh, put a like a silicon grit uh, on a I want to do it for my for my pistols instead of putting a uh, like a sandpaper grips. You know, I want something permanent, just like uh, on my uh, Infinity. Infinity has got that silico silicon carbide uh, uh, grid uh, grip. So I'm gonna practice. This is the old A1 uh, uh, AR15 grip. We're gonna practice on that. And what I'm using is I don't have the actual silicon carbide grip, but I got this from uh, Harbor Freight. And that's uh, aluminum oxide, uh, ble blast media, 70 grit. So it looks to me like, uh, yeah, I had to buy 25 pounds. I got it here in the back. It looks to me just fine, just like the stuff I got on my on my uh, Infinity. So let's do this. This is my first attempt. Let's get the uh, gloves. So we'll go professional. Alright, so we have to look professional since I am a professional amateur. That's how the professionals do it. I saw a doctor do it before the surgery, so. Oh man, these gloves suck. Man, it's a good thing I'm not a proctologist. These are the 7 millimeter. These are supposed to be like a heavy duty. Man, it's like I'm putting on a goddamn wetsuit. Alright, so I kind of stole this idea from another YouTuber. I put his, put it, I'll, I'll put his, uh, I'll put a link to his channel to to the video. Uh, when I was kind of researching how to do this, and uh, he made it look easy, so I went ahead, got the masking tape, got the blast media which looks like should work got these gloves got a couple of foam brushes and I stopped by the hobby store and I bought a 15 minute box okay so the first thing we will do is I'm just gonna play around I'm gonna try to mask like a parts of the grip I don't wanna I don't wanna put this stuff on let me show you alright I just masked a little bit I don't want the carbide be on the top everything else uh, it should get now for uh, for a uh, uh, epoxy to stick real good uh, you wanna rough up the surface so You know what? Smart person would put up a safety goggles. Smart person would also clean up the garage. Okay, I'm gonna call this good. All right. I took the existing checkering off and just kind of roughed up the surface. Uh, now, I'm gonna wipe it off. Ideally, I would get a, probably like a denatured alcohol or something, clean all the oils off. But this is a test, so I'm not gonna go that nuts. Just gonna get the particles off. And let's mix up some epoxy. This is nothing extraordinary, two parts. You just mix two uh, two same uh, equal parts, squeeze up two equal parts of each. Ah, my stupid camera died, so anyway, you mix the epoxy, not rocket science, and you cover, you cover the grip. I did that, nice and sticky. Now, what I'm gonna do uh, the other guy kind of poured it on it. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna sink it in a pile of this crap. Mm. 
we want to get a nice even coverage. Pretty much whatever shiny spot you see, you put the stuff over it. Basically the idea is whatever doesn't stick is gonna fall off. So uh, yeah, there you have it. That I'd say that's pretty even. And let me do a little bit over here. Alright, so there you have it. Now I'm just gonna let it dry. Uh, so I actually left it in my boiler room. It's more like 80 degrees over there. And I can still see a couple of shiny spots. I could have put more stuff. But you know what? This is the first test. So uh, I guess we'll just see what comes off. And it's really not that much that's coming off. I should probably use a brush. Let's just use a regular brush. Well, some of the stuff came off, but you know what? Holy crap! I'm actually really excited. Let me get my Infinity, we'll compare. Alright, so here's the Infinity. This is what I was going for. You see, right here you can see the line. So that's where the, the plastic, the original uh, plastic or polymer grip is. Okay? I don't have a clue who did this, if this is factory or what, but this is... You can hear it okay so whatever I did I'd say it looks almost almost identical mine feels a little grippier it's like the same paper hell if you you trim your nails you can probably trim your nails on this uh, so it feels a little grippier but hell uh, let's peel the tape off Let's see how that worked. See, we get nice lines. Okay, I need something. Okay, so overall, I have a, I had a little bit of the peeling. I'm guessing I can take the Dremel and kind of blend it in. As a matter of fact, let's try it. Ah, that looks good enough. So I got a little, you see this little high spot over here? And I got a little shiny spots over here. I could have put more of the stuff, but other than that, Hell, I'm impressed. This feels really, really good and looks good on the first try. So, uh, I'm guessing I'm gonna do this to one of my legions. You call me crazy, but I don't wanna be putting any any uh, uh, grips on it if I can do this and this will make it semi-permanent. I shouldn't say semi-permanent because it is permanent. <laughs> I guess it can be touched up later on, but uh, this gun gets, this, this, this gun had, I put you know, a couple of thousand rounds through it since I had it and this holds up really good so I don't see why this wouldn't. Alright, there you have it. As always, have fun, keep shooting. <laughs>